Hello guys, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking some past questions from Wayek on trigonometry, uh, special angles and also their ratios. So here we have a Wayek, we have a question from Wayek 2017, that's this year's Wayek, question 26. He says given that cos 30 is equal to sine 30, uh, 60 degrees, which is root 3 over 2, if you remember from our video, we should by now know by heart our special angles of 30, 60, and also 45. But here we've been given an, an, a hint to the to the answer. So here we have sine 60 is what is uh, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Cos 30 also is what adjacent over over our what our hypotenuse. So and we have sine and cos as this, this and the question says evaluate this particular operation so here we should know that from this um, um, from this particular question our uh, 1060 is what root 3 so what do we need to do we just need to put in the value of what tan 60 and also we should also know and also know that our tan 30 is what 1 over root 3 so what do we need to do just putting this value into this equation so what do we have here we have tan 60 which is root 3 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over root 3 so here, let's just uh, quickly solve this. The LCM of this is root 3. So we have root 3 here minus 1. So what are we left with? We bring this root 3 up here. So we're going to have something like this. Root 3 bracket root 3 minus 1 over root 3 minus 1. So here, what do we have? Opening up root 3 times this root 3 will still give us a 3. Then minus root 3 over root 3 minus 1. We have to rationalize this. So what do we do? We multiply. We have this plus 1 over root 3 plus 1. So here, let's open up our brackets. So we have what? 3 root 3 plus 3. This time, this will be a minus 3. As a root 3 multiplying, it will still give us a 3. Then we have a what? A minus root 3. So here, this times this will give us a 3 and also you know to just simplify this we have a 3 minus 1 if you remember from our swords so here what do we have this will cancel this we are left with 3 root 3 minus root 3 over 3 minus 1 is what 2 so here that's this minus this we are going to have a 2 root 3 over 2 and cancelling this we have what root 3 so this is our answer What's the correct option here? Option C. We have another question from YX 2015, question 23. It says, given that tan x is equal to 2 over 3, where this particular angle, that's x is what? A right angle triangle. Find the value of 2 sine x. So what do we have here? The right angle triangle. This is x theta. And they said tan x is 2 over 3. And what is tan? Tan is opposite, that's 2, opposite over adjacent. That's 2 over 3. And to get here, that's we have to apply what we, the Pythagoras rule. That's we're looking for the hypotenuse, which is what b square is equal to, that's b is equal to all root a square plus c square. And this is 2 square plus 3 square, which will give us what 4 plus 9 all root which is what root 13 so this angle is what root 13 so here since we know this angle as root 13 this we are looking for the value of 2 sine x so 2 sine what is sine x sine x is what opposite over what hypotenuse which is what 2 over 3 2 over root 3 we have to rationalize this so we have what 2 root 13 over root 13 times root 13 which is what 2 root 13 over 13 remember we're looking for 2 sine x so 2 sine x will be equal to 2 times what 2 root 
13 over 13 which is what 4 root 13 over 13 and what's our correct option here option c we have another question again from my 2013 question 24 it says if sine x is this 5 over 13 and this that's a right angle triangle find the value of cos x minus tan x let us draw our triangle put our x here sine x is what 5 over 13 and this is what opposite over what that's so over hypotenuse that's 5 and 13 so we have to look for this angle here to get this angle here what do we have that's angle angle c so c will be what b square minus a square so that is what was b that's 13 square minus 5 square that's 169 minus 25 which gives us a 144 and if we square this we'll get a 12 so this angle is what this side is what 12 the length of that side is 12 so here we are told to look for cos x minus tan x what is cos ka that is what adjacent over hypotenuse what's the adjacent here our adjacent is what 12 over 13 minus and what is tan tan is what twa let me write this here so you, you follow tan is twa that's opposite over our adjacent so 5 over 12 so here what's the outcome of this to give us 156 in here 12 12 times 12 144 minus in here that's um 13 13 times 5 we have what is 65 for 144 minus 65 we have what is 79 over 156 so this is our answer and our final right option is what option c thank you for staying tuned to destiny to winter terrors see you in our next video please subscribe like and share this video